February 21st, 2023, southern Minnesota, expecting uh, a lot of snow over the next few days. So this is uh, before in the uh, front yard. And uh, there's the backyard. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, uh, Wednesday, February 22nd. And we got, I don't know, four, five, six inches overnight. Winds came up, drifting uh, quite a bit. So there's the uh, front yard. The main storm arrives later today and tonight. And there's a look at the backyard. We'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, good morning, Thursday. 23rd, 2023, it stopped snowing finally. The wind shifted out of the north on it last night, so we got a nice drift across the front of the house here that's at least a few feet high. Not sure of the total. Pretty hard to measure snow out here with the wind blowing. But uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like in the back. All right, backyard. About the same. I got a, probably a good four foot drift right there. And looks like the chicken coop is probably drifted in. So, all right, time for the snowblower. Welcome back. Winter will just not stop. So, that footage was uh, just a few days ago. We ended up with 20 inches of snow over a three day period. So, end of February, I guess you can't be all that surprised, but to be honest, uh, the winter across most of the U.S., at least the northern part, has been just kind of brutal this year. So, um, you know, the snow behind me here, we actually were getting down to seeing our raised beds come out of the snow, and now it's under four feet of snow again. So, go figure. But we got a lot of things we want to get done, and we just can't. And unfortunately, when the snow goes away, the ground is just going to be a, a sloppy mess. So... Anyway, uh, let's go out to the coop and uh, got some things to show you out there. So as I was coming uh, home earlier this morning, we had a couple bald eagles that were right here on this corner off this drift. Uh, they were chasing uh, some pheasants around and uh, I was wanting to let the chickens out today, but I don't see the eagles now, but I have a feeling they're still around. I saw just a couple pheasants running out there now, so they might have flown off. Something to be wary of. Let's open the door for these guys and see what they're doing. I need to clean this coop out today badly. It's been so cold and snowy. Hey guys. Hi Kevin. You want to come out today? It's supposed to be above freezing today. Yeah, their coop is nasty. Need to get this cleaned out. And uh, it's kind of frozen in there still, but I should be able to get in there and get that halfway cleaned out. All right, so we currently have uh, 10 chickens. We have nine hens and uh, Mr. Kevin, the rooster there. And uh, we're getting 13 more chickens. So kind of a mixed flock, a uh, bunch of different breeds would like to do, uh, definitely keep a mixed flock. And we're getting another rooster so, Kevin, you're going to have a challenger, and uh, we've already pre-named the new rooster Tyson. So, <laughs> Kevin, you got what's coming to you, buddy. Hopefully, he's going to put, put him in his place. So, this coop, or this repurposed shed, uh, is no longer going to work for us. So, we're going to uh, build a new coop, and we're probably going to relocate it uh, closer to the house. We're thinking uh, kind of over that direction yonder and uh new run so 
who knows what will happen to this repurposed shed but uh yeah more chickens coming they're on special order and uh should be here hopefully towards the end of uh next month they'll spend uh you know eight weeks in a brooder probably in the garage but uh yeah more chickens fun stuff Another big project we need to get done this year is storage. Uh, we currently only have this uh, outdoor storage shed, which is, I don't know, 10 by 12. Um, not near enough to store everything we need to. So we're looking at uh, possibly a lean-to off the side of the house, uh, or better yet, you know, a potentially an, an outbuilding. So we're still contemplating that. Uh, if you're in the Southwest Minnesota area and uh, you happen to be a builder, uh, reach out to me. We might be uh, interested in talking to you about, uh, about a uh, new outbuilding. So one thing we've noticed this winter, uh, this is our second winter here now. Uh, last winter, we didn't have all that much snow, it wasn't that big a deal, but this winter I think is a little bit more typical. Um, and, you know, when you get the snow built up on the sides, you know, whatever height that is, you know, when the wind comes through and drifts, it's just going to drift over at that level. So, uh, particularly this week when we had the snow, um, you know, the driveway was completely covered in two, three, sometimes four feet of snow. And so we're already thinking ahead for a solution for next year for snow removal. Uh, currently I have my old trusty MTD snow blower that I've had for a long, long time. Didn't use it much in the city, in Boise. It actually sat outside. The motor ended up uh, getting ruined, so I replaced the motor with a Predator motor from Harbor Freight uh, once we moved here. But it's uh, undersized now and probably a little underpowered for what I need. So we're trying to come up with another solution for next year. New snowblower, a uh, walk behind is an option. Thinking about a plow for the truck um, or maybe a tractor. Who knows? So there's pros and cons to all of them. Obviously, the pro to uh, just a, a, a walk behind is low cost. The cons, obviously, you're out in the weather, um, and it's probably going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, pro to putting a plow on my truck. I get to sit in a nice heated cab. The cons, there's really not where to move the snow around here, particularly when it gets deep. I don't think a plow would move the depth of snow we're probably going to see here, and I don't really want to put the wear and tear on my half ton pickup. Uh, tractor, obviously pros, very uh, versatile. You can do a lot of things with the tractor. Obviously having a cab on it would be nice. Cons, just very, very expensive. So we're contemplating for what we're going to do for next year, but we're going to make it through this year with uh, the old trusty MTD that uh, I've had for a long, long time. Served me well, but I think it's, uh, I think it's served its useful life at this point. So just a, a quick look around at the tree line. You can see it's uh, drifted in. We're at six to eight feet drifts all along the outside of the property here. Um, the snow just won't go away. And I think they're even calling for some more snow this week. So, um, or, uh, yeah, hey, thanks for sticking around. Uh, stay tuned for content on that chicken coop. I'm actually gonna start building that uh, pretty soon. I'm gonna build most of it probably in the garage and kind of get it ready. Um, I've already picked up some materials for that. So stay tuned for that footage. I will put that uh, on this channel. Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Snowblower, plow, or tractor? What's your vote? See you next time. Thanks very much.